Anna Fluvanna was my childhood friend. Since the age of eight years ago, Anna has fantasized about gauging on a tropical island adventure. It all began when we used to watch Gilligan's Island. We loved Gilligan and the trouble he used to get in. LOL? Anna was crazy about Ginger and Mrs. Howell. She would play dress? Up every time we watched Gilligan's Island? At her house, every year for her that T.Y. Hay were birthday, Anna's parents would try to come up with tropical island themes. It was fun, and sometimes even hilarious. You could tell they were running out of ideas. We were in middle school, and Anna's dream of a tropical island adventure was increasing. Every project had a tropical island theme. It was driving our teachers nuts. However, they didn't get too upset because her projects were really good. I don't ever recall Anna receiving a failing grade on any of them. Me on the other hand sometimes barely cut it. Anna campaigned for us to have a tropical island festival for our end-of-the-year activity. Just to appease Anna, the teachers all agreed. They even let Anna help with the planning. It was great. Did it change anything? No indeed not. By the time we got to high school, Anna, or should I say Brenda was on a mission. Oh, did I forget to tell you that Anna's real name is Brenda Douglas. She got the nickname Anna Fluvanna, because of her zany dramatics and passion for tropical island adventures, Brenda joined every club with hopes of a tropical island class trip. She was so pushy that some clubs blackballed her. Our classmates would mimic or poke fun at her. Didn't change Brenda one iota. So Anna Fluvanna stuck with her because she acted if she was on a tropical adventure. Anna campaigned for class president and guess what? Surprisingly, she won? We were still friends and being her friend I tried to support her quest for a tropical island adventure. I believed that she would finally get to have her dream come true. She still had to get everyone else on board. She began to write letters, make flyers, and get help from her parents. Anna went to the school board and PTA all with the hopes of getting permission for a tropical island adventure class trip. To kick things off in our senior year Anna came up with a welcome back to the island theme. Our senior classrooms each had a tropical theme. If you ask me, my girl had some creative juices. She could be a cruise director or work for a travel agency, that's how good she had become from all her hard work and passion down through the years, for the R prom, you know it, another tropical island adventure. This time it was different. What do I mean by different? We didn't have to a traditional prom. We had our prom at a country club that was laid out and decorated as a tropical island. We had the options of gowns and tuxes or to dress like people who lived on tropical islands. Anna went all out. She came dressed like Ginger from Gilligan's Island and het date was, you guessed it, Gilligan. LOL? They were the cutest couple. The most creative couple. I wasn't too bad myself. A and C of course, they were crowned king and queen. Not a surprise. Right. It was almost time for graduation. Anna Fluvanna, I mean Brenda was a basket case. We were still waiting to hear about our class trip. Anna kept asking the principal and our teachers, but no one would give her an answer. She worried her parents. She worried me. I thought she might have an anxiety attack. If she didn't get an answer soon? Our advisors asked if we had a plan B. That really threw Anna into a frenzy. She stopped eating. She stopped sleeping in graduation? Was two weeks away. She talked about boycotting graduation? I tried to talk sense into her. Her parents tried to encourage her. They even went so far to say that they would take her themselves. This put a little sparkle in her eyes. Whoops. Graduation? Day. Yeah yeah. The day we have been waiting for. We arrived at school in our cap and gown. We lined up. Music? Begin to play. We processed in. We threw the procedure. We received our diplomas. To my surprise, I was the class valedictorian. Yes. I wasn't quite prepared because we were told that Anna, Brenda, was it. Anyway come to find out that everyone was trying so hard to throw Anna off that there were some mix-ups. 
one being calculating grades. What's that? Our teachers and counselors were so busy try to duck and dodge Brenda, that whatever they were working on caused them to be distracted. They had left out grades, overlooked grades and forgot to put grades in. LOL? When they tried to explain it, everyone just laughed, after I gave my off-the-wall speech, and we were sweared in by Mr. Johnson, our principal, Ms. Mayer gave her final remarks. Or, should I say the best graduation closing ever? She wished our class, well wishes, safety and to enjoy ourselves on our class trip to a tropical island in Jamaica? Our hats went up in the air along with shouts, screams and great applause? I was in tears? Anna, Brenda, for once, was completely speechless? She just sat there in her seat, crying. After all of these years, after all of these years of plotting and planning. Her dream, her wish, her hard work, shaking her head. She looked over at her parents. From the looks on their faces, they knew all about. They nodded. They blew kisses. Anna, Brenda, smiled. I bent down and with tears in my eyes and a smile on my face, I gave my best friend a hug.